here we are, Mountbatten Pier, guys. Off to meet Sir Keith down the uh, Yellow Brick Road. And uh, hopefully there's some uh, big snakes down in the rocks later on for us tonight. Yes, we are going conga fishing. See you down there, guys. Yes, the new jacket. I am tired of getting soaked. The old Helly Hansen is done. And yes, the new Vass studded waders. Video in you now with Smeaton's Tower in the background. Right, here we are guys, welcome along. It's me Bassman, hello. And joining me today is Sir Keith. Good evening everybody. Great to be out with you on the pier, sir. Yep. Let me just put this down a minute. It's my bait. Yes guys, Mountbatten Pier, the iconic venue of Plymouth. Plymouth's best pier. It's the only one still standing, isn't it Keith? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yes, we are here. We're after a conger eel tonight, Keith, aren't we? We are. A nice big serpent. Big tides. Yes, and I've got a new jacket. Yeah, look at this, look. My mum bought it me for my birthday. A nice, a nice burger strap. Fashion top. accessory. Gore-Tex. Because the mistake <laughs> I made, guys, with the heli, the yellow and blue poser jacket, was it was a poser jacket. And, you know, you put your box and everything on it and all that, and it got oil stains. Yeah. And, and it just, it just died. Was it? And I, you know, it was 250 quid, and, a, and in blue, yep. was only 140 quid. And no, I had to have the yellow one. So this time, look, I've gone for the right colour, and I've got a new pair of waders in the car in case it breaks. Ooh, so studded bass waders. I'm Ooh. fed up with cramped feet, size eight. I've had them for like a year and a half. You know, they're a really bad buy. Should never have bought them. Anyway, you go into a shop, and no, I'm not going to go into it. So yes, guys, we are here on the pier. As you can see, it's very long, and uh, the rocks around this pier are, they, they go like this, don't they? They'll go out for like, Do you what, go up the steps? 30 yards? Yeah, easy. Yeah, come and have a look, guys. So, see the gear there a minute. It's going to be a bit windy around here, so just have a quick peek. So there's all rocks out there. That obviously, the conger eels love the rocks. Almost forgot. That's better. That's better, isn't it? <laughs> and I had a nice comment the other week, Keith. Yeah. Oh, who would wear their hat the wrong way round? A fisherman, <laughs> on yeah. The, on the comments. Yeah, it's <laughs> me, mate. Fashion, fashion icon. Especially anyway. when it's raining, stops the drips going down your neck. That's right. So, yes, rocks all the way around the pier, guys. And the conger eels live here. So that this is their home. And a little secret, there may be a tunnel underneath this pier or two that goes right through to the other side. Maybe. And yes, it fishes best when it's rough, all right? But it does fish when it's calm because they've got to eat, haven't they, Keith? That's it, correct. They've, they've all got to eat. And all the anglers that come along and they catch like little pouting, and in the winter, the whiting, the ones that don't go back because they're all belly up and, you know, dead. They've been on the hook for an hour, haven't they? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, the conga just mop that up. So yes, it's a really good venue, guys. Um, there's some big eels being caught here. There's been several 50s. Um, Sir Keith's son was lucky enough to be one of those guys that had a 50 pounder. And I'm not going to show you that eel. Anyway, so yes, we are here on the pier. You feeling lucky, mate? Yes, sir. Get right. it in the water. So I've got the nagger and I've got the extra heavy surf black rock. So me, the old faithful nagger, uh, Viagra rod, stiffer for longer, never lets you down. <laughs> yes, mate. And right. Oh, and another thing, we're not allowed to swear, Keith. Right. Like not even the S word. Nope. Because I did a video with Wingman on a bit of lure fishing and right at the start i said we're going to catch a shed shed load of bass and then i said oh i almost said and i actually said it yeah right just for a laugh and youtube when i when i exported it there was a uh, an orange thing through my my money sign what? i was like what's that clicked on it oh not suitable for advertising um you, you'll earn little revenue from this video or none but it'll still go live and all this and i'm like hey and i thought 
The only word I said was at the start of the video, the S word, I said it once. So, so just to warn you YouTubers out there, guys, don't swear at all now because they've upped their game. And also, at the end of the video, I had to declare if it was altered in any way by artificial intelligence. Like, has the video been altered? Is it, <laughs> are, are you the real person or are you a fictitious person? And all this, and now you've got to sign that oh, on every video. So, guys, it's getting harder. Do you know what I mean? They're getting strict. So no swearing, Keith. Nope. Even if I get a big fish, I will not swear, I promise you. All right? So, tight lines, mate. Let's go fishing. I could bite your tongue. Yeah. Let's go fishing. Let's show Jasper a good time. Jasper's new to angling. He's over there look, looking a bit sheepish. Yeah. So yes, tight lines. Let's go fishing. So this is Jasper. He's only been fishing a few times. baits at home and um, the missus doesn't really know well she does when I splatter it on the wall so she gives me hell but yeah so I'm all ready to go and I've got a couple of scabby mackerel there that have been in the bottom of the freezer in that bag for Ooh. a few months and that's all I've got so I haven't got any fresh bait you know but I've still got hope that's it mackerel right. smellier the better isn't it right, let's go for a nice lobbage sir and no swearing no swearing so it's just a lob here guys literally 20 yards that's it you're fishing in the rocks and my favourite bait of all is cuttlefish. And here's a nice big head presented on a hook. And I am using 80 pound braid on that reel, not messing about. And the new rock and roll, heavy surf, Conti. So I brought along another rig, the running pat for a third rod. I was really excited about this rod. It's the only one in the UK at the moment. I'm not even supposed to be promoting it, but I had to give it a go. Sorry guys, this is all I can show you at the moment. It was 7.30, time for the baits to go out. So I clipped in my running pat and went for a first cast of this new rod. I was quite excited, a bit nervous though. Yes, very nice first cast there on that new rod, but that's all I can say at the moment. Here we go, first fish, Sir Keith. Good fish as well, isn't it Mark? Hey, over here, mate. Here we are, been here in less than an hour, and a nice dark eel for Sir Keith. Well done, mate. What do you reckon? Eight or nine? Yeah. Ten? Black, isn't he? Black as the, yeah. Black? Yeah, very dark fish. But yeah, lovely, mate, look at it. Yes, the conga. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have nightmares. Yeah. Yeah, it needs it needs a bit of dentistry work first. Yeah. It's black. It's dark. So yeah, I just got to uh Manager, I'm not even filming. Right, 
Come on over here, Keith. Can you turn him around the other way or not? No. <laughs> Heel wrestling. One down. There you go, that's better. Right, get down, kneel down, mate. A cracking start for Sir Keith, and the eel was returned. Yes, there he is. Straight down. Straight down the hole, sir. So, you got enough bait then, Mark? Look at those beauties on Slapton, look. Mrs. caught them, didn't they, didn't she? Yes. Jumbos, mate. Jumbo mackerel. Give it some slack lines yeah. if it'll pull out. It's like, no, it's not a pouting or anything. It's either a conga or a ray, maybe. Might be a nice ray. That's on prawn, wasn't it? Yeah, single prawn. Yes, yeah, so I missed a good fish here, guys. We probably thought it was either a ray or another small conger eel. I'd only had a couple of casts on this new rod, but you can see I was getting good distance here. Another big cuttlefish bait going out on the red rods. Catch the tip like, there, catch the tip like, still floating. So I'd lost my tip like off the end of the rod. No big drama, but we had at least five minutes of fun trying to get it back. Fresh dead pout is one of the best conga baits going guys. Just hooked it through the back, simple. It was now gone high tide and nothing was happening. We were starting to get a bit anxious. Ooh, rocking. And prawns. Good conga bait. Mr. Rockling and Mr. Prawn. Big prawns, look at that. Yeah. Eight. Don't think you're going to fill the bucket tonight, Keith. <laughs> well, we'll see. Whole mackerel, a really easy bait up guys. It's just a matter of knitting the hooks through, through the back. And I always end up trying to go through the gill and up through the head, because you've got less chance of snagging the bottom if the hook's out the top of the head. It's always done me very well in the past. I use the extra thick elastic here, guys. I find it get, gives me a better presentation and also I can really, really tightly wrap it and squeeze the juices out of the fish. A nice, easy cast, underarm, 
10 or 15 yards into the rocks, that is it. River prawn, absolutely beautiful. One of the best baits over winter. Thread it on like a worm through the back of the tail. Simple bait, don't even need any elastic. Piggyback. Where's all these eels gone, Sir Keith? Uh, they'll be here. What time is it now? 10 o'clock? Yeah, Half hour after high. Very quiet. Well, I'm going to give it half an hour. Crack your plate, you get them as pigglers. Oh, yeah. Velvet swimmer. Female look. See that bit there? Round. They got like um the, the male's got like a pointy one. Yeah, it's a female. Got a battery. Give an army tip a minute, Mark, Mark, the glowy one. Probably tied. No, it's just a bit tied, I think. Oh, well. Yes. Oh. One. It's just starting to rain. In. Two and a pollock. Did you say I could take him home? You did, home, you did yeah. say that. I, I did, heard you. I did, yeah. <laughs> I think it's you're regretting well. it now. No, not on the only pollock. Five. Yeah, that, that's a good live bait, that pollock for bass under a float rope. It's free line. Yeah, baby. Prawns. Right, I'm packing up, mate. It's starting to rain. Yes, yeah, so I want to get home before then. So. Yeah. Roll on the winter evening. Right, here we are guys. It's uh, almost that time, Keith, isn't it? Maybe, Certainly is. Maybe another 20 minutes. We had one eel, guys, but hey, it's only August and we've only just started this stuff, haven't we? That's so it. It's, uh, you know, we can't wait for it to get dark early and we can get out and get more congas, eh? So Looking yeah, one bite between what? Two, four, six rods. So yep. Mark was here tonight. One bite between us all, you know, it's pretty poor really, isn't it? Not very good. It's tasty weather and everything and, you know, but I didn't blank, I caught a pouting on your prawn. <laughs> so thanks very much for the prawn donation, sir. And it was really interesting to see the net coming up and everything, wasn't it? Yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Do me a favor, hit the like, give us a nice comment, you know, anything nice, nothing nothing nasty. But I do take, you know, silly comments with a pinch of salt. <laughs> so tight lines, guys, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, check out my rig shop, fishingguysdevon.co.uk forward slash shop, all the rigs, all the pop-ups all the winter rigs coming in, all the whiting rigs, everything. So thanks very much, guys. Thank you, Keith, for tonight. You're more than welcome. Cheers, Mark. Yeah, you don't get much out of Mark. He's a bit wooden on camera, isn't he? <laughs> Call him Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> Tight lines, guys, we'll be back. Good night, everybody. Yes. Oh yeah, Paul, what's that in the bag there? 
What, mate? Eh? Oh, no, 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 no. I, can't, uh, I can't show you that. Oh, yeah. Don't come any closer. Secrets, eh? Maybe two or three weeks, guys, but no, no, that's as close as you're getting, mate. All right, cut it off quick.